Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to give you my really very, very, very late review of Star Wars The Last Jedi, the teaser trailer. Now this teaser, you didn't get to see much in the teaser, but you got to see some things that build up the tension. I like the teaser, it was cool, it was cool. It wasn't like, blah, blah, but it was cool. Now, first of all, I got to hear this weird, awesome monologue from Luke, talking, like, I think he's training Ray because you hear him going, breathe, breathe, breathe. What do you see? And she says, I see darkness, I see light, and I see something in the middle. And when she says, I see darkness, they show a helmet, they show um, Darth Vader's helmet kind of crumbling. And when she says, I see light, I think you see a back shot of um, Leia. Now, as all everyone knows, Carrie Fisher passed away. So from what I'm hearing, Leia's not going to be in the movie. So I don't know if that shot's going to be in the movie. Unless, like, they don't show her, but they have a shot. Like, I, I wonder how they're going to do that. I'm curious about that. Um, man, this Star Wars movie is going to have one of the... It's going to have the um, Fast and the Furious vibe going since um, Carrie Fisher died. So now it's going to have that baggage with it. It's going to carry it over to huge numbers. It was already going to do big, but now it's going to do even bigger than that. But anyways, back to the teaser. You see a clip of... You see a shot of... um. Um, Poe, um, I think it's Poe. Isn't it Poe? I think it's Poe. I can't remember. The pilot. I can't remember his name, though, for some reason. Who, um, Isaac, um, who... Damn it, I can't remember his name. The, the pilot. You see a shot of him running with, um, BB-8. You see a shot of Finn in the pod. It looks like he's still unconscious, but maybe he's about to wake up. You see a shot of Ray on this, like, cliff, Karate Kid style, breathe, taking, bre taking a breath. You see, and, and they kind of—it's kind of quick shot. You see a quick shot of Kylo Ren, um, holding his lightsaber, probably battling some, battling someone. You see a quick shot of the, um, of the temple that um Luke was teaching at. They got burned to the ground, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a flashback to that. And then, you, and, but, but the cool thing about the Kylo shot is, because there's been some images that leaked out. His eye—he's got the scar, and his eyes kind of—you know how his eyes kind of blue. You know how I, the eyes get when it's like um, injured or pixelated. I mean, not pixelated, injured. Like it's got this like blue tan on it. So I don't know if he can see out that eye, or if it's just gone, or if it's just gone. I'm surprised he didn't just get like a mask. Like I'm surprised that. And once again, he's not wearing the mask anymore. I don't know why. Like that's kind of pissing me off because his mask is so awesome, and he was such a badass when he was wearing it. Now he's not wearing it. I'm still a little thrown off by by the actor playing him because I just see a pretty boy. But anyways, that's a story for a different day. Um, and then, but the but the selling point for the entire trailer. There's this cool shot too of like these um these. I can't, I don't think they're TIE Fighters, like, flying, and they got this red shit coming out of them, and it's kind of cool, because they're side by side, and this red stuff's coming out. Cool imagery. But, the shot, but the, um, the spot in the movie they go home with is the ending, when Luke, when you see, a, when you see your first glimpse of Luke, you don't just get a good shot of him, but you get your first good, like, good glance of him, and it's of Luke going, the only thing I know for sure is that the Jedi must come to an end, and... We don't, no one knows what the context of him saying that is. Now, from what I gathered is, which is making me interested in this Star Wars, even more so than I was in Force Awakens, is that this is a beaten and battered Luke. Like, Luke has been through some shit. Like, the way his voice sounds, the way his demeanor looked, even in that just shot, I could, a picture tells a thousand words, and that picture told me that he's a broken man who's like, look, man, I, I, I'm, I'm the last Jedi. I'm training you to be a Jedi, but then you're to be the last Jedi, because I'm gonna die. So... <laughs> Only thing I know for sure is the Jedi, and maybe some as some people have theorized is that he's saying this is he saying this because there needs to be more gray Jedi's. I mean, not gray Jedi's, but gray. There's more gray. There shouldn't be a dark and light. Or maybe he's saying, and like some people are also theorizing, and maybe he's saying to end the to actually end the Sith, we must end the Jedi. We must end it all so that no one can tap into the Force like this. So then there might not be peace. But there won't be people, you know, doing this shit, you know. There won't be uh, these overarching guys, you know, co um, organizing these huge war conflicts. So, I mean, maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm not the Star Wars guy to ask. Um, hopefully me and Mar Mark and Seth can give put their inputs on it because they have a lot more to say about it. So my video is going to be short. I just wanted to put it out there. Um, but those are my thoughts on the um, Last Jedi trailer. I love the font. It has a... Seth's already said it has an Empire Strikes Back feel to it. It might. Well... To be fair, I gave it a Force Awakens a lot of shit, but it was a faith, but for being basically a New Hope, but it did a great job to being a New Hope. <laughs> it did it so well that I didn't even notice it till after until I sat down and thought about it. So maybe this will do it. So maybe this will do a great job too. So that's my um thoughts on the 
Last Jedi, the Star Wars Last Jedi trailer. I got some more videos going to put up today um, on some other topics. But um, thank you for joining me to come get a movie show, and I'll see you in the next one.